So this is made by the same people that made Stray. So I'm really excited. Okay, what's going on here? In a forest. Oh, hello. I'm not sure where to start. It almost feels impossible. Oh, okay, she's over there. Can we see her face? She looks so sad. The past meets with the present, fighting for space. Ooh, she needs more assistance, it looks like. Demanding attention to be heard, to be seen. Oh, she's getting older. A lifetime worth of memories. Ooh. Do you hear that heartbeat? Just, she looks so sad. Remembered through my eyes. Well, that heartbeat's getting stronger. Oh. What is this? Oh, we're full circle. Baby. That is a very old looking baby. Like this baby came out having bills to pay, but they look so happy. Oh, the dad's like, oh my God, we made that. Oh, oh okay, we're going to the house. Oh, their first house. I wonder if she still looks old. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see, no, see? Why did she look so old? She looks like a normal baby now. Okay. I'm sure there's a reason. Look at that house, that's a nice house go for 1.1 million dollars today okay let's go depending on where we're at in life our perception of a memory changes hmm move you guys out of the way thank you oh Mary that's her name I'm assuming How do you know which version is the truth? Hmm. What does that mean? Oh, the bear. Move it out of the way. Oh, oh, there we go. There we go. We're missing something. I don't know what we're missing. Maybe we just got to keep moving these guys. There we go. Okay. Look at them painting together. <gasps> Whoa. Okay. Cool. We're gonna we're gonna do this whole thing, okay? It's gonna bother me if I don't. Huh. 
I used to think I knew exactly who you were. Oh. The idea of you captured perfectly in my mind. The mom? Interesting. It's her first birthday though. And reaching right for that flame, girl. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow. She's gotten older. First the flame, now the kettle. Was she getting yelled I at? I told myself you had your own ways of showing you cared. I didn't understand until I was much older. That, I'm worried if she has the necklace, does that mean... I hope it doesn't mean the mom's gone. Oh, let's pick it up. Okay. Despite like our best efforts, Life is unpredictable. Gosh. Doesn't care who you are, what you're doing, or what you have planned. Things begin, and sometimes, when you least expect it, things end. Wait. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, the mom pass away. It's hard not to think about how time has changed the memory of you. Oh, the kettle. She's probably thinking about that moment again. How it will continue to change, to shift, until I'm left with a version I've created in my head. Oh, this is so sad already. <laughs> Nothing here. In there. Scissors, okay. the key to the house. I wonder about the father. Hindsight. I'm so curious what happened. But I guess we'll find out. Oh, music. So I'm I'm so curious about the suitcase. Like, is this we're under the assumption, or at least I'm under the assumption right now, that the mom passed away and that 
this is like the obituary slash in memoriam sheet. And then this suitcase is everything that she took back from the house, maybe? Because she has the house key. So maybe everything in here is like somehow related to the mom. But we'll see. Chapter two, still life. I guess we're going home. Everything still looks the same. I can't tell if that's comforting or not. I don't like looking at the front porch and not seeing you there. I think that pretty much confirms it. And like the grass is overgrown and the weeds in the sidewalk. So both of them are gone then. Ugh. This. You came here to relax, to catch your breath, to be at peace. Maybe if I stay a little longer, I'll feel it too. I can't imagine. Back to being a little kid again. trying to look for oh there we go there we go oh look it's a dad in the we redwoods hiking sometimes you packed the lunch dad mapped the trail i was in charge of pointing out all the good rocks and trees oh she's pretty far ahead It's really interesting to see her walk so far ahead. Like the dad is engaged and she's just doing her own thing. Huh. But I wanted to wander and see where the trees took me. Oh yay, okay. They're they're doing stuff together. Cool, cool, cool. you find Oh, what is this? Oh, back to the present. I can see why you liked being outside. Sitting here, listening to the branches dance against the breeze. The smell of coffee brewing. Dad usually brought you a cup. Sweet.
I want to go back because I think in front of the house she was looking at a dandelion. Let's see. Do we find here? There we go. This oh, yay! Yard holds a lot of memories. Watching you pull weeds, spraying grass with the hose. I'd beg you to splash me with water during the summer and you'd sigh real big. But you would. Oh, she's so happy. I love this. There we go. Aww. Daydreaming became as normal as breathing. Imagining made up places and letting my mind wander. Gonna splash or Oh, what is this? What do we gotta do here? Like the art style is super simple, but they did such a good job with like the color and the scenes. This is so, this is so cool. And the way it's going in like slow motion right now. Like this is a moment for her, you know? Did I get it? Did I get it? No, I'm missing it. Yes, there we go. Oh. Cool, we get to go back. fed my curiosity. I called out shapes I saw in the clouds. I followed ants back to their home. I pulled up weeds thinking they were flowers and made crowns. That's beautiful. Oh, wow. Do we remember things differently? Overall, it seems like she had a pretty good childhood. Where do we go? Oh, we gotta move it away. There you go. Back to the present. What story did your memories tell? Oh, 
Oh, is this the same scene from before? Let's see. Yeah, it is. Okay. I'm assuming the mom's inside. Yeah. Oh, okay. No. Gonna catch it? Let's see. Let's see. Aw. Oh, we're back to the dandelion. Okay. Oh, we gotta turn it. I get a little nauseous with those parts, I'm not gonna lie. So I apologize if anybody else gets nauseous with me. The big oak tree is where I thrived. I climbed it so many times, my knees were always scratched up. So I'm noticing that they're showing, it seems like they're showing a lot more of the dad. Maybe that's just my perception. I know that there were like a couple scenes with the mom already. So it'd be interesting to see if like, maybe we go back and see her memories, like the mom's memories as well as the daughter's. Like where's the mom? What's, what's the mom doing, you know? Maybe I've had this wrong the whole time, and it's not so much of a focus on the mom, but both of them. But it feels like it's 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 more of a focus on the mom, right? Oh my gosh, she is on the edge. I know this is like a dream world, but what are we looking at? Where do we gotta go? My mom would never let me climb a tree. Hello, little birdie. This way? Oh, we gotta go down. There we go. And then one day I fell. I wasn't hurt, just scared. I ran to you for comfort crying. You frowned and told me it was my fault for climbing too high. You watched me carefully for the next few days. Had dad cut down weak branches. Uh huh. Okay. I think that the mom just isn't good with expressing worry. Because although she yelled at her about climbing too high, she still made sure to cut off the weak branches because 
maybe she assumed that Mary was going to do it again, or she just wanted to make sure that she was safe. So she cared. She definitely cared. I don't think the yelling was apathy. Getting a phone call. The restaurant called. It's easy to forget that the world keeps moving. Cleaning out the house shouldn't take long. How did I lose touch with what was important? How did you? Oh. Where'd you go? Oh, she's so sad. I ask as if you'd had the answer. I'll never know. How do you choose what's most important? Oh my gosh, you can't, you can only choose one thing. Oh, what do we, I don't, I'm not sure what this is, to be honest. Oh my gosh. What do we choose? What do we choose? I'm going to choose the... I'm going to choose the... Oh gosh. That must be so hard to go into your childhood home knowing that your parents aren't there anymore. All the memories in one place. Okay, we're back to present. Music sheet, okay, cool. Chapter three, within the lines. Okay, maybe we get to find out a little bit more about the mom. It all looks untouched, but I feel so different. I bet. Like a stranger that doesn't belong. Shoes off, slippers on. Thought I'd always forget. It was the first thing you'd ask me to do when we came home. Like a ritual meant to be followed without question. Even now, I find it hard to remember. <laughs> I'll put them on. Cross your feet. There you go. Oh, did the mom play music? You had the piano since before I was born. You taught yourself to play as a kid, but fell out of it with age. When I started showing interest, you began to give me lessons. to separate your wants from my own. Mm. My hobbies and yours. Are 
he is gone. Whoa. I didn't even know what I wanted. It was safer to listen. That makes me so sad. There was so much pressure put on her. You tried to teach me about my culture from an early age. And sometimes it meant skipping out on time with friends. Aww. The food you ate, the language you spoke, they were parts of you that you felt needed to be passed on. Coated dishes. Dad's rice bowl was blue, yours was pink, mine was yellow. You said I wasn't allowed up from the table until I learned how to use chopsticks. Oh, wow. That's a lot of pressure, especially as like an only child. I think it's great that she's learning her culture, but I can imagine the pressure that the mom is putting on her specifically just because like there's no one else to pass that on, you know? So I, I understand both sides, but that that's hard. It's hard for both of them. I It seems like there was a lot of pressure to please the mom. Oh no, do we have to do it from memory? Oh no, no, no. Oh my god, now there's pressure on us to get it right. <laughs> we did it though, yay. Is she happy? Oh man. Workbooks were left unopened, and any attempt to speak in your native tongue was met by English. You tried so hard, and I didn't budge. It's 
so hard. Get in there. Get in there. Oh, you just won. Things had to be perfect. Unlike people, glass can be polished. Spaces can be controlled the way we like. I hope there's like <laughs> I hope we come back to like more happy memories or that like there was some sort of understanding between the mom and the daughter at the end you know eventually we stopped speaking Japanese in the house it didn't bother me much when I was young I never considered what that loss meant to you Oh, that's so bad. I am so sorry. <laughs> it said, do better. <laughs> Wasn't good enough. Okay. There we go. There we go. Close enough, right? There we go. Was it calming? The ritual of it all? Every week, like clockwork, you had us dressed and on time. I wonder what this means. Relaxing. I don't remember much from that day. Maybe that's on purpose. What happened? Is she angry? Okay, maybe she's not. Maybe she's not. She's definitely worried, though. Oh, girl, are you going too deep? Where's the mom? Where are the parents? Oh, they're both asleep. She's like, mm, I know you told me not to, but I'm doing it anyways. Bye. Oh, no. Okay, they noticed, good.
Oh my god, trying to find the right angle is so hard sometimes. This way. This way, this way, this way, this way, this way. Oh, there we go. I was pulled to shore. Coughing. Crying. Dad called for a lifeguard. You told me I should have listened. So hard. That's so hard. It seems like every time that she gets in a situation like this, she's always like, I told you so, or you shouldn't have done that, or you shouldn't have been doing that. Instead of being like reassuring and being like, are you okay? You know, it's okay. That's tough. That's so tough. It's so tough. From then on, I told myself that if I stayed in line, I'd be safe. I could control my own actions, my behaviors. Things would be okay. For years and years, I've listened. Settled into what you tried to teach me. It became... Rhythmic, comforting. There we go. Back straight, arms taut, eyes straight ahead. There's comfort in safety, in routine. Relax your shoulders. Smile. Stop tapping your foot. A lot of expectations, though. The gift was thoughtful. It showed how proud you two were, and it eased my nerves about performing. I knew work kept you busy. I tried not to expect anything. No, don't tell me that she couldn't go to the recital. No. The chances were slim, but I found myself hoping, desperate for you to show. Oh, no, don't tell me, don't tell me, don't tell me. But eventually, I had to go on without you. No, dude. Wait, wait, wait. No, dude, no. No, that's so rough because you know that she only took a piano. Well, I'm sure she liked it, but a lot of it was like trying to live up to her mother's expectations and for her mom to not even show up. Ah, oh, that is so rough. How could you not make the time? Oh my God, I yeah. Know. I never asked. Maybe some things are better left alone. Oh my goodness. What 
did I come here? There's so much I've forgotten, all for good reason. I'm here now. I made the time. I had to. There was no one else. If I didn't come here to sort through your things and pack up your life, who would? I've only got so much space. Ah, uh, that's tough because I feel like these two things are more related to the mom and the horse is more I'm running free I have the freedom to do what I want and it isn't directly related to her so it's tough it's like do you choose what she would have wanted or what you would have wanted I don't know you know I was really hopeful and then she didn't show up so I'm gonna choose I'm gonna choose her Chapter 4, Falling Into Place. Oh, this is a different day. She's wearing different clothes. There's the kettle. Make sure we get it. Last final. Oh. <laughs> of all my memories with dad, listening to music now on it's the better. porch has to be my favorite. I think that's where I got my good taste in music. <laughs> he even let me try a sip of beer when I was still a kid. Don't tell your mother, he'd say. That's so tough. is so tough because I don't know it feels like he got to be the fun parent you know and the mom had so many responsibilities to take care of so did she even have like the time could she have made the time I don't know I don't know there are a lot of unknowns you know but it definitely feels like she had better experiences with the dad Oh, it's cracked. I just realized it's cracked. Pack up all the books. Oh, like they used to be. That one there, that one there, the 
this one here. There you go. You pushed me to get good grades because you knew I was smart. But in my mind, I never knew if I was performing up to your standards. That part. That part. I think that almost made it worse. I wanted a reaction. I wanted your explicit approval. I was desperate for praise. If you didn't tell me you were proud, it meant there wasn't anything to celebrate. Oh gosh, that's so hard. Have everything revolve around your mom's approval. remember watching those big monster movies with him as a kid. I was probably too young, but dad was really into them. I think that's where my fear of moths came from. <laughs> He's a good dad. Oh. <laughs> Oh, right here. I hope she's seeing a therapist. Oh, oh, there we go. Dad was pretty frugal. I guess it was a trait you both shared. He said he could build a play set instead of buying one. <laughs> I was his helper. I think I did more damage than anything else, but I brought him lemonade, and that seemed to make up for it. Oh. She's stressed. Like, you can tell she's stressed. So, like, something else is going on. That's cute. That's so cute. What a good dad. What a good dad. What are we looking at? Uh, definitely the play set. Oh. There we go.
Are we back to this? Hopefully this works now. Because <laughs> for whatever reason it wasn't working. What a bummer. Missing an eye, no. What happened? Ooh. You brought this back for me after a work trip. You said I would fill one eye in now, set a goal, and fill in the other after I completed it. Oh. At the time, it made sense to focus on college. Completed it. No. Is that and she's off on her own again. But she's always with, like, the suitcase. Oh, okay. There we go! There we go! Oh, okay, I was getting so frustrated with this one. There we go. Dad always had us sit together whenever you weren't working late. It was a nice routine. Something to look forward to. That's nice. I wonder how it cracked. I liked it when everyone was around. We fell into our roles. You cooked. I set the table. Dad did the dishes. It's hard to... It's it's like... I don't know. I, I keep trying to find reasonings why like she's not present. Or as present as the dad. And maybe it is because of work and other issues. But it's just like... I, I'm finding it so much harder. Because there are moments where she could be a little bit more involved. She could be a little bit more present. And she's not, you know? And that's tough. That's that's tough. Like, I want to give her the benefit of Sometimes a doubt. Sometimes you'd be away at work for days at a time. Dad and I managed. When the frozen dinners and takeout got old, I started getting more adventurous in the kitchen. Oh, that looks good. Uh Eventually, I took over most of the kitchen duties. You didn't always have the time, and I was good at it. When I wasn't making mistakes. Aww. Oh. Oops. Yay! There's a specific moment where I had to maybe maybe I had to stop at the crash. There we go, yeah. Dad was always there to help fix them. Oh. 
We had plans to go to Japan before I went to college. I hadn't been back since I was a kid. I spent an entire summer there with my cousins. We caught beetles and watched fireworks and ate watermelon on the roof. That's so cool. It would be a break for everyone, especially you. A second to catch your breath and enjoy the moment. To rediscover what it meant to be carefree. Everyone was excited, but I had to get accepted first. Okay. No one in the family ever had the chance to go to college, so this was big for us. Things were falling into place. Do we look? I want to say we look up here, but... Oh, there. She get accepted? Oh, wait. Will she finally get the praise that she deserves? Then everything stopped. No, is it the dad? No, 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 no. And suddenly I was seven again. It was the start of summer. Dad and I were outside at night looking for ghosts. Oh. He let me hold a flashlight in case he got scared. Maybe I would be a ghost hunter. And then I was 16. He drank beers on the front porch. The record player was loud enough for him to hear from out there. I sat and listened to him talk about the music. Sometimes we sat in silence and stared out at the sky. Oh my god! No, no! Oh, dude! The pain in my chest hurt. How could I feel so much and so little at the same time? Oh, real. Oh my gosh. We didn't know what to do. Oh. We handled it in different ways. Jeez. Things went back to normal. Routines started up again. I was angry. I wondered why you looked okay. Oh, I bet. such a tough age too for that to happen i didn't know what to make of you you were so stoic in the wake of his death and it confused me where was the pain why was i going through it alone oh man
I say we do this because he loved music. I still don't have it figured out. I'm stumbling through it, trying to understand. I know now that grief is constant and always changing. It's so rough. Holds under chapter five. I, like, I really hope that they have a chance to reconcile. Like, that's what I'm really hopeful for. But at the same time, I feel like this game is going to be very much like life, where sometimes that's not what happens, you know? We won't, maybe we won't get a happy ending. Oh, she's back in that water again. No! Oh, jeez. Is the school? Where is she? It was overwhelming. I, bet. I was on autopilot, going through the motions. At some point, I hit a wall. I didn't understand what it was at the time, but I couldn't move past it. Oh, 
Oh, did she never end up going I to college? Knew education was important to you and dad, but my heart wasn't in it. Oh man, I bet. I was distracted, confused, angry. Not even a year went by before I dropped out. Ah. Oh. That's so rough. Yeah. Your dad literally just passed away. Ugh. Time passed by while my body continued without me. I avoided your calls. I couldn't tell you I left school. It wasn't any of your business. Oh, man. The weight in my chest grew heavier. Every move was exhausting. When I try to remember this time in my life, it's like there's pieces missing. Gaps where there shouldn't be. I wonder why repressed memories, dissociation. She's going through a lot. I found a dishwashing job a while after. I figured I needed something to do, something to focus my energy on. Anything was better than nothing. To my surprise, I liked it. It felt good knowing my work helped the kitchen. You're getting that praise! Ugh! One day I was asked to step on the line because we were short-staffed. It didn't take long to realize I was good at it. Being in a completely new kitchen was freeing. I got to create my own identity, my own rules. Who was I, independent of you? Figuring out my place was equal parts exciting and confusing. A new challenge to be faced alone. Oh, man. See, I'm still leaning towards the stuff that she wanted to do, not what her mom wanted. So instead of the book, I'm gonna take the towels. Man. I wonder if she ever told them. Well, her. Oh my gosh. Chapter six. I made so many good memories in this kitchen. Food was so fun when I was a kid. Finding oh, new flavors and textures. An adventure we took together. Oh, yay, good. Happy memories. My excitement only grew as I got older. I began to explore the possibilities and found myself happy, wanting more. It felt good finding that fire again. It was missing happy. for a long time.
Yay! She's finding herself. What are we missing? We're missing something. Where is it? Oh, right here. Mushrooms seem so cool and I would love to like go foraging for them. But my biggest fear is that I'd accidentally like poison myself. Where are you? Oh, there you go, right here. gonna spell Larry boom yay got it Mary oh are we back to that moment You taught me how to hold a knife so I wouldn't cut myself. Aww. You gave me confidence in the kitchen. Oh, yay! It became muscle memory, like second nature, almost as easy as breathing. There I was. Six years old again, so trying cute. my best to help you without getting in your way. <laughs> my first day of jumping on the line, I knew this is what I wanted to do. I practiced at home, put what you taught me to use. Uh, yay! Good memories! The confidence you instilled reminded me I wasn't bad at this. I would get better fast. Those look beautiful! Dot, dot, wait. Dot. 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 Woo! Looks exactly like that. <laughs> See, it has me going back to the to the Oh, here we go. Oh, okay, the cupboards. Get the cupboards. Let's do that. Okay. Oh, wow, that's beautiful.
for matcha. I have this knowledge of our culture, of everything you taught me. What do I do with it all? Maybe your restaurant's gonna be inspired by, by that. It's intimidating. Is this how you felt too, when you were teaching me? Were you worried about losing yourself? That no one would remember what your mother taught you? Oh, there she goes to work again. Oh, it's like you get these little moments of like happy memories. Remembering what she taught you. Oh, are those dumplings? Was that? You were very particular about the process of cooking. There wasn't room for creativity. A recipe had to be followed. The gyoza had to be folded a certain way. Get it right. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Can I make this? Oh. Dad, the dad. Look at the dad. That mindset, that need for perfection, is what I retained. Keep a tidy workstation and kitchen, clean as you go. See, they're good things. They're good things. That she learned. When I got older, you started working more. We spent less time cooking together, but I was determined to keep it up. Into my chop, 20s, chop. this drive for perfection became everything. It consumed me. It gave me a sense of control. After many late nights, being the last in the kitchen, that dedication took me to the top. She's becoming like her mother in the kitchen. Wow. Wow. As I opened each cabinet, clearing out the contents, everything started to hit me. My hard work paid off. I was the one giving orders, creating dishes, curating entire menus. I had control and creativity to do what I wanted. People started to notice. They came from everywhere, 
critics started talking about us. The more we got noticed, the harder I worked. The rush was amazing. I was so busy. It left little time for you. Sometimes we'd grab lunch, but I wanted to... I thought that I needed to show you the result of all my hard work. Oh, wow. To show you what I built for myself. Oh my god. Full circle. The parallels. Now she's the one that doesn't have time for her mom. Wow. That led to finding the right place to open my own restaurant. To be my own boss. circle oh my goodness the fact oh man mother's praise and she worked her whole life to get it oh and it was never quite there oh my gosh no let's do this Chapter 7, Borrowed Light. I'm not sure I'm ready to go through your things. It doesn't feel right, intruding on your space like this. You worked a lot. At one point, it seemed like your job took over the life you built. Oh my god, the files. Your work followed you home and never left. It became part of our family dynamic, creeping into weekends or late nights after dinner. Sometimes I'd still be awake when she came home late at night. I'd hear the door open and shut, and her quiet footsteps creep past my bedroom. She's tired. 
She is tired. Ah. Oh. What did you want out of it? The long hours, the hard work away from home. What did it give you? Maybe it was the routine. Each day was different, but there were always elements that could be controlled, especially at home. Oh, man. Even after Dad died, you stuck to this pattern. We talked about going to Japan together. It had been a long time since we'd gone back. It'd be different this time. We'd create new memories as adults. I can't believe you actually bought plane tickets. Oh no! <laughs> But I was scared of leaving my work behind. Everything would fall apart if I left. I tried to tell you, and oh. you just nodded. She's trying to make up for lost time. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Oh, she knows, dude. She knows. She knows. Sometimes I'd forget holidays. It was late into the night before I'd call. Oh my god. Oh, and she even set it up for her, dude. Oh, okay. It's fine. It's, we're good. We're good. Oh. called it all. Oh, man. I can't. I can't do it. The longer I'm here, the more I think about you. The what-ifs, the things I can't change about us. I created an idea of the kind of person you were, but I never stopped to ask if that was you. Time didn't fail us. I did. I need to go. All at once, I saw my future laid out in front of me. Oh, there's the heartbeat again. I'd fly back to open the restaurant. I'd achieve everything I hoped to accomplish. Years would pass, and I'd be there, night after night. I'd 
come home late one night and wonder how things could have been different. She old now? Nothing I've accomplished will matter in the end if I run away from the loss of you. No, is that her mom? It's not too late. Was she a painter? Are these yours? How did I never know? What other parts of your life was I oblivious about? Oh, wow. Who were you when I wasn't watching? When you were all alone? I wish I could have known you more as a person. It's hard to picture the leap you took to get here. I bet. One of the biggest decisions of your life. I bet it was exciting and terrifying. You set foot here and tried to find solid ground so I would have my footing when I ventured on my own. You actually kept these. Oh my god, she was so proud of you. Why do we keep things from each other? The pride we felt. The love we held. thought you didn't care, but you did. I couldn't see it at the time. She just couldn't make it in time. Oh, man. It was hard on you when I left. I was too absorbed in myself to notice. to wear this all the time. A gift from dad, I think. You loved it. You wore it a lot, especially on business. You wanted me to have it after dad died, but I didn't want it. Why? Oh my gosh. Maybe because she doesn't, she didn't like feel that connection with her mom. She was so angry. It was too soon. 
I didn't want anything that reminded me of him. Mm. It took a long Aww. time to understand that it was your way of reaching out, of helping me keep a part of him. It tore you apart, too, but you managed to hide it under the surface. trying to be strong for both of us oh man It may be too late to make things right with you, but I need to finish this out. It's the least I can do. You wearing it? We keep. I've been running away from the things I can't control my entire life. Parts of my life feel like they've been frozen in time, waiting to be played over and over again in my mind. I'm still that little kid. The seagulls are still flying overhead. I can still taste the salt water in my mouth. I'm 13 again and upset you missed that night. You tried to explain yourself, but I wouldn't listen. I couldn't. I can still see myself on that bench. I felt everything and nothing all at once. I didn't know how to handle dad being gone.
I looked to you as my guide to grief, but you were stoic. It confused me, angered me, left a grudge. When I got news you were gone, it was like my body moved without she me. She kept going? Wow. I left the phone and went back to work like nothing had changed. I couldn't help but picture myself leaving. Wasn't Did ready you do it? to confront it. Wow. What does life look like when we come to terms with the past? How do I make that work? Maybe I'm not supposed to know. Is she gonna go to Japan? Oh, you should go. Yay! Oh, and she's wearing the necklace. I decided to use those tickets. I feel like that's the mom watching over her. I'm hoping to get to know you better, who you were, where you came from. When I go back home, I'll have these pieces of my past waiting for me, Aww. reminders of the good and bad. 
but I'll also be carrying them with me wherever I go, ingrained in my bones. so good oh. oh look it's all the stuff that we kept oh my gosh <laughs>